John Yaman is a Turkish actor who was born on November 8th, th, 1989 in Suedi district of Istanbul, Turkey. He is the only child of Kevin Yaman and his mother Guldem. Even though John Yaman was born in Turkey his family's roots are outside of Turkey in the Balkans, specifically in the countries of Albania, Kosovo, and Macedonia. Some of his maternal family connections also reach out further into Europe, specifically into Switzerland. Primary and secondary education John studied at Bilfine College for his primary and middle school education till the age of 14. During this time both his parents gained financial stability, which enabled John to enroll to the Italian high school, Liceo Italiano of Istanbul. The Liceo Italiano is a private school in Istanbul which focuses on languages, especially Italian. Vast majority of the lectures are in Italian, but some are also in German, English, and French. This language program has allowed John Yaman to develop his gift for learning languages. Unfortunately, in the first year of the Liceo, John Yaman's father lost his job and that created high level of uncertainty if John will be able to continue his studies at the prestigious school. John used his academic determination, will and focus to gain scholarships year after year in order to graduate. Eventually John has graduated as the top student with the highest average ever obtained by the student of this institute. In the senior year, following a set of rigorous exams across the country, John was chosen as one of the 36 students, from almost 3,000, for a foreign exchange student program to USA. John traveled to Ohio where he studied first semester of his senior year. For second semester he returned to Turkey and thanks to accelerated program he was able to complete all requirements and graduate on time with rest of his year group. University following the graduation from Italian high school, John Yaman enrolled in the law department of Yedip University in Istanbul. John Yaman entered the university with scholarship in basketball. Sports were integral part of John's life from early on in his life. Football and basketball were part of his earlier education and this university scholarship allowed him to continue with basketball as well as studies at the same time. Practicing sports has enabled him to stay fit in his body and law studies and its requirements for memorization were very helpful to him later in his career as an actor. In 2012, John graduated from the law department of Yedip University and started his career as lawyer. Lawyer John's career as lawyer started via internship at the internationally known audit firm Price Waterhouse Coopers. Here John met his close friends with whom he later decided to establish private law practice which is today still in operation. Here John focused on work in the area of mergers and acquisitions, M&A, and took on writing articles for tax section of Dunya newspaper as well as started acting classes in order to improve his performance as lawyer at court. It was during this time that realization came to him that he did not want to be stuck in the life of 9 to 5 office hours and dressed every day in the suit. After summer annual leave in Bodrum John decided not to come back to the job. Meeting manager and new career as actor. During the faithful summer break in Bodrum John has met his acting managers Kunit Sale and Ilko Bilgi. Mr. Kunit owns an acting school and if was there where John started to take accelerated acting classes in order to audition in TV series. In a short space of time, John was auditioning for his first TV series family drama Gona Lila Rai. Gona Lila Rai was John Yaman's first TV series, where he auditioned and landed a role. The family drama aired in 2014 and marked the beginning of John Yaman's career as an actor. From that point on, he decided to pursue acting instead of continuing his career as a lawyer. It's worth mentioning that John Yaman has gained significant popularity both in Turkey and internationally for his roles in various TV series. Some of his notable works include Akinsikas, Early Bird, where he played the lead role alongside Dimit Özdemir, and Bayanlis, Mr. Wrong, where he starred opposite Ozch Girl. His performances have garnered him a large fan base and made him one of the most recognizable actors in the Turkish entertainment industry. Apart from his acting skills, John Yaman is known for his charismatic personality and good looks, which have contributed to his success and popularity. He has also been involved in several endorsement deals and has appeared in numerous magazine covers.
It's important to note that my knowledge got off is in September 2021, so there may be more recent developments in John Yaman's career that I'm not aware of. New life during the faithful summer break in Bodrum John has met his acting managers Kunit Sale and Ilker Bilgi. Mr. Kunit owns an acting school and if was there where John started to take accelerated acting classes in order to audition in TV series. In a short space of time, John was auditioning for his first TV series family drama Gona Lila Rai. 2014 first acting breakthrough Gona Lila Rai, John went on to his first audition for a supporting character Bidra. The director and production company liked him, but he was too muscly and good looking for the role, so they asked him to go away loose some muscles, grow mustache and make himself a bit less handsome and come back. John went away doing exactly what was required and came back and was hired for the role. 2015 Following his first supporting role in family drama Gona Lila Rai, John's talent has been quickly recognized within the industry and his next casting was into a male lead role in romantic comedy in Adina Ask where he portrayed Yalan Eras. With this role his fame in Turkey started to grow. 2016 to 2017 John's next role was a lead role in TRT family series called Hangjama's Submedic where he portrayed Tarek Kam. This series lasted two seasons. 2017 next John's TV series project is the project which increased his popularity in Turkey as well as started his breakthrough internationally. The series was titled Dalune, internationally known as Bittersweet, in which he portrays character of businessman Ferit Aslan. Here he acted first time alongside Ozj Girl. Ozj Girl has already had an established international fan following, especially in Italy, thanks to her previous series. She was the one who actively encouraged John to start communicating with his foreign fans, especially Italian, via his social media. John's ability to speak fluent Italian has created a great wave of enthusiasm amongst the foreign fans who has started to follow him and the international fan base of John Yaman has started to expand. The series yet again lasted two seasons with last episode being aired on New Year's Eve 2017. 2018 to 2019 Very shortly after the end of Dalune, John has signed contract with Golden Yapem for his next series Erkansikas internationally known as Daydreamer, in which he played lead male character personifying famous photographer and outdoors sports person John Yavit. For this role John spent six months preparing his physical appearance, his clothing style and John Yavit's character. This series was the door to an incredible international fame. John Yaman captivated Turkish as well as international audiences across the globe and won numerous national and international awards for this series. John Yaman became a worldwide phenomenon followed by millions of people. Daydreamer series was sold to and screened in many countries across the world and achieved record-breaking audiences. Following the finale of Daydreamer, John went to promote this series as well as his previous series across the Europe and appeared in TV programs in Greece, Italy, Spain as well as attended MIPCOM in Cannes. 2020 In early 2020 John had to undergo compulsory army service in the Turkish military. Due to his profession he opted for the short three-week service. In summer 2020, during the global COVID pandemic, John embarked on the journey of shooting yet another summer series with all the challenges of what COVID pandemic has brought forward. He portrayed a character of Oscar Adesoy in internationally acclaimed series Bayanlis, internationally known as Mr. Wrong, for which he received nomination for Best Actor in Comedy Series in Turkey as well as being nominated for Le Temper du 2020 Award. At the end of 2020 John announced his future work with Italian production house Lux Fidi on the new modern adaptation of the classic TV series Santa Can. 2021 Due to issues caused by COVID pandemic, international series Santa Can had to be postponed to later date, but that did not stop John Yaman from progressing in his career. At the beginning of 2021 John collaborated with famous Turkish director living in Italy for its news P-Tech on shooting advertisements for famous Italian brand of pasta da Cecco and appeared in several TV programs. In September 2021 he signed contract with Lux Fidi to appear in all Italian, crime comedy slash drama series Viola Come Mare, internationally known as Violent Like the Sea, 
where he portrayed a character of Chief Inspector Francesco Dimmer and starred alongside well-known Italian actress Francesca Chilimi. It was an intense seven months period for John. For this series John spent a lot of time working on his Italian diction with his private tutor. The shooting of the series ended in spring 2021. During 2021 John also worked on other projects outside his acting career such as establishing his children association John Yaman for Children ETS, writing his autobiography and designing his perfume. All these initiatives are aimed at raising funds for his association and with that helping those children who are in need. In early 2022, it was announced that John would be the lead actor in an international TV series project produced by the prominent Turkish production company Ayabim for the Disney Plus streaming platform. The highly ambitious series, El Turco, in which John portrays the character of Yenizeri Balaban Hussan, completed its filming in February 2023. The series is directed by Elu Spayraktor and was shot in Budapest, with a script written by Karim Diran and Cicel Hazeltinum. In this upcoming series, which will be streamed on Disney+, John Yaman will be joined by Italian actress Greta Farrow, Irish actor Kieran O'Reilly, Swedish actor Magnus Samuelsson, British actor Will Kemp, Croatian actor Slavko Sobin, British actor David Nickel, British actor Nigel Pilkington, British actress Cy Bennett, and Portuguese actress Madalena Ragal, along with two Turkish actors. One of these Turkish actors is Uchildren, and the other prominent actor is Armin Gnogaz. John Yaman continues to support a solidarity project initiated through the charity organization John Yaman for Children that he founded in Italy. As part of the Break the Wall Tour project, a portion of its income will be donated to children affected by earthquakes in Turkey. John has embarked on a tour in Europe to raise funds and awareness for this cause. Thank you for watching. Remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. We appreciate your support and hope to see you again in our future videos.